Hello, this screencast will show you how to create a Google form and insert mathematical equations or expressions into the form so that your students can see exactly the equation that you're referring to. So first you need to create a Google form and insert a multiple choice question. So right now I'm in a Google form. I'm gonna add a multiple choice question. And you can see here it's multiple choice and I am going to add additional options here. Okay, so the, the question is which expression is a trinomial? Obviously I can't type my mathematical expression in here. So I'm going to need to use a third party tool that will um, allow me to insert the expressions um, in the correct form. This tool is called Co Code Cogs. Dot com. And if you go to codecogs.com, this is the web page that's going to show up. So on the home page, you would click on Equation Editor. And right down here where it says click to open standalone equation editor, you click on that link and you get a, another window that has the equation editor, editor in it. So I'm going to go back into uh, a Google Doc and show you the expressions that I'm going to insert into my Google form. So these expressions here, I did create in code cogs and I wanted to show you these so that you can see how I'm typing them into the tool. So what I'm gonna do next is adjust my windows so that you can see both the code editor and the form or the, or the document open at the same time. So I'm gonna go back into my form and I'm going to go into my editor and I'm going to type my first equation which is going to be this one here okay so let's go back into here and you can see I have all of these different mathematical expressions or tools that I can use for my equation so I'm going to type in my equation and you can see as I'm building the equation it displays right below the box and this is my equation that I wanted to create as you can see here in my Google Doc so now I go back to my Google form and I'm gonna insert this equation as an image. So I'm gonna go into my option one and click on add image. And I'm gonna click on by URL. So this is going to allow me to drag the expression from Code Cogs website into the URL um, text box. And you can see here that it displays the equation correctly. I hit select. And that equation should show up in my Google form. So let's go to the next expression that I'm going to type in to code cogs. Okay, so here's my expression, 4n squared plus 8. As you can see, it's correct. I'm going to go back into my Google form, go to my option 2, click Add Image, click on Buy URL, drag my equation into the URL text box there. And you can see that it accepted it. I hit Select, and it's going to display as an option in my question. So let's go to option number three. So this is going to be 4n squared minus 5y plus 7. And you can see the mathematical expression is displayed there. Go back to my Google form, click on option three, click add image by URL, drag the expression into the URL text box. See that it displays it correctly, hit select, 
and now it's going to be displayed in option three. And now I'm going to go to my last expression. So take this out. And this is going to be a fraction. So I'm going to type 3x squared. And oops, I did that wrong. So I'm going to start over. And let me do a fraction first. And I'll need to put in the numerator. So 3 x squared over the denominator, which is 12x. And you can see that my, oops, I forgot the x there. So now you can see that my, my um, expression matches what I have here in my Google Doc. I'm going to go back to my Google Form, click on Add Image, click on Buy URL, drag that expression into my URL text box. There is the expression. I hit select and it's going to display. So it's very helpful to have both windows open side by side so that you can simply drag and drop the equation into the Google form. Now, if I wanted to display this form, I go to the preview option and you can see here's the question with all of my um, options with my mathematical expressions. So I hope you found this screencast helpful. Thank you.